one that had just white legs. When we say white legs, because two leaders, that's mostly what you see. <laughs> OK? So who wants to be a cheerleader here? Good. <laughs> Good, that, that's good. You don't have to want to be a cheerleader. But back in my age, being a cheerleader or being a twirler or being homecoming queen was a big deal. A lot of Mexican-American kids would say they did not want to be a cheerleader. You know why? Because they didn't think they were going to be picked and they didn't want to lose. So there was a lot of kids that didn't run because they really didn't think that they could win. And it was true, they couldn't win. Only one out of four. And how did this make you feel as a girl, as a person, as a woman? How did that make you feel about yourself? It made me feel inferior. It made me feel ashamed of who I was. It made me want to not speak Spanish. It made me want to just eat hamburgers all the time and not tacos because there must be something wrong with tacos. Nowadays, it's different. Now everybody, even white people, black people, Asian people, we all eat each other's food. But back then, it wasn't like that. And when did you start changing that attitude towards yourself of not liking yourself or not liking your culture? When did you turn around and say, it's OK to be who I am? I think I, I, when I was in the elementary school, I went to school to the, to the school where the whites went. So I always wanted to be like them. So y'all were in different schools? Yes. yes. Really? The, the migrants, the migrant workers, and the Mexican kids would go to Airport Elementary. Airport Elementary was an old detention center where we kept the Japanese after Pearl Harbor. So Crystal City also had, not only do we have Popeye, but we also had Japan, Japanese concentration, well, we used to call them concentration camps, but that's not cool no more. We call them Japanese internment detention centers. Yeah, Crystal City also um, had uh, Italians there, the Germans, and the Nazis that were hidden away. So Crystal City has a very interesting story. So there was a lot of discrimination because the, the, the Mexican kids got the old schools. They've got they, the buildings had asbestos and stuff like that, and there's a lot of cancer going around in Crystal City. The school I went to was with whites because my dad was a butcher. He, he, he knew all the, 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 the principal of the school owned the store where my dad worked. So we were the good, good Mexicans. So I always